Well, we have the coffee table, we have the chairs, we have the wing chair. Look at this. Look at this. Do I have the best staff in the world? <laughs> After I made them jump like an ant farm, poking them with a stick, John has brewed me a perfect cup of coffee. Oh, oh I know John. John doesn't even drink coffee, and he brewed me a perfect cup of coffee. Let me just see. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually quite good. Don't do a spit take on a new desk. It's not. Actually, it's perfect. Uh, oh, I did? I think our, our chat room figured it out. Well, they need to figure it out. Again. Chat room, how do we get out of retail mode on this? What is it, a Toshiba? No, it's a Vizio. Yeah, I, look how good that shot is on Eric. That's fantastic. That is... You don't have my thing? That looks great. So he did that standing up. So, see, this is what I like about Eric. And the thing that worried me about Eric is he's a perfectionist. And I was really afraid he was going to change things just to make it, you know, work better for him. That is a great shot. This is beautiful. That is actually gorgeous. And he rotated it till he got a perfect shot behind him. So you still don't see my um, chat room. I need to, if anybody knows how to get this Vizio out of retail mode... Oh, there's another Playboy Playmate. Where are they all coming from? Right, it won't matter if he's on 10. Um, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see it? So this is Eric's shot. I think that's just a spectacular. So he rotated the turret until he got the background just right. No, it's, It actually looks unique. There's two shots. Yeah, I... I let me see if I can find the other one. Uh, well, that's okay. No, they're all vetted. They're all vetted Playboy Playmates. <laughs> they're all over 18. No, they're all... There's. We had one buttock in the whole show. And it was an Olympian. And it was an Olympian, and it looked like a man anyway, so I figured <laughs> we all have butts, so that's probably okay. We elected to avoid any other body parts. Ah, midnight. Okay, let me go back farther. Back. There it is. Eric at the control desk. Come on. That's great. Oh, so, but did he rotate himself? Because that's. He turned. <laughs> oh, there's two cameras. It's freaking great. And he was comfortable with. Look, he made himself a lower third and everything. He was comfortable with the. Um, the setup and the technology. I mean, he was able to do what he needed to do. He was able to do what he needed to do. It would be nicer if the keyboards were higher. You know, he'd be the light standing up. Yeah, he has to bend over probably. Yeah. yeah. And what are the other 20? I'm thrilled. If he wants to do that every night of the week, he can. I'm thrilled. It's a great show. That looks fantastic. It looks like it's late night. What time did he do it? Nine? It's great. And you guys in the chat room, did, I don't know how many of you saw Eric's show, but did you enjoy it? That's fantastic. I think that looks beautiful. It looks, it looks like a whole different set. So in the last 24 hours, we've had two sets, new sets created. <laughs> That's great. Good. Yeah, I, I agree. We're, what we're, we're grooming Eric to, to do the radio show. Um, that's exactly what we're grooming him for. Hey, that what looks a lot show? better, though. The, the, the uh, tech guy show. Whoa, no kidding. Well, basically, that's what this late night show is. It's a call-in show. He does a call-in show. Wow. So it, it, we're absolutely grooming him. And so you're able to do that? You're able to swap someone in for you? Well, I have to get Premier's approval. <laughs> you're kidding. That's fantastic. So what, what we... That's fantastic. What we did is we um, we sent tapes of him to the management at Premier. They said, "Well, he's good, but he's young. You know, he needs he needs some um, polishing." Hmm. So we'll polish him. Uh, but apparently, they hooked him up with another show uh, as their tech guy. So I think Premier is um, is is behind the idea. And I would say, in in a year or two, if he, you know if he does this three times a week, he will get the chops down. And in a year, yep. he'll be able to fill in for me. And in five years, he'll take over for me. Nice, because I'll be in my boat. 
It looked just like this with my ham radio rig. Huh? Should we try turning on the transmitter? Should we just see how? Because I didn't try it with the PR40. Let's do it. Can you reach it? I'm not that stuck. Yeah, you'll ding it. 